Shalom. I want to first begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to my power, Yahweh Bahashom, Yahweh Shai Bahashom Rakhak Wadash. Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorant calls God, and Bahashom is in the name, and Yahweh Shai, that is the true name of our Lord and Savior, who this world ignorant called Jesus, and the Rakhak Wadash is the Holy Spirit. In the ancient Hebrew tongue, and also I want to give double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which are the true leaders of the nation of Israel that the Lord has set forth on this earth to lead and to guide and to be great examples for the nation of Israel. And also I want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in this work for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Shai and all truth and in sincerity. I want to say Shalom to you brothers. And also, I want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children that Yahweh Bashem Shai will have mercy upon in these last days. And also, I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp, and I'm coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shai. And I pray that the elect of the nation of Israel is edified. And this lesson is going to be entitled, You Are a Demon If You Love This World. I'm going to repeat, I'm going to repeat that again. You Are a Demon If You Love This World. And what inspired me to do this lesson, and, uh, I was watching the elder brother, uh, Gabar Awar. That's the name of his uh, page, GMS Gabar Awar. And he was going into, the title of his lesson was called Vex with the Filthy Conversation. All right, and this was what this is what inspired me to do this lesson. All right, because uh, that's the spirit that the elect is in. Okay, we're in the spirit of uh, sighing and crying. All right, we're in the spirit of um, you know being vexed with this world. All right, and we hasten in the coming of the day of the Lord. You know, brothers is uh, you know uh, um, desiring. All right, we yearning, you know, for the Lord to return. All right, because hey, this is the place of our captivity. All right, in the book of uh, Ecclesiastes, and I'm just going to uh, begin with that. Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression maketh a wise man mad. Right, oppression maketh a wise man mad. You know, and this world has been blinded. All right, they think that America is the land of the free, home of the brave. All right, then the spirit of this world um, going on forever and ever. All right, you got our people trusting and believing in the American dream. They believe in that if they work hard, they can be successful. If they uh, train, that they can make it to the to the big leagues. All right. So oppression make it the wise man mad, you know, and you got to be a wise man to see that we being oppressed. Okay, our wages, you know, according to the scriptures, we're supposed to be paid daily, you know, and you got brothers being paid weekly, you got brothers being paid bi-weekly, and you got brothers being paid once a month, you see, so everything about this world is uh is out of course, you know, and when you come into this truth and you realize that this world is contrary to the scriptures, everything in this world is contrary Okay, because the order that the Lord has set forth is the man is supposed to be the head. But in this world, you got the woman being the head. Okay, according to the scripture, we're supposed to be fruitful and multiply. But this world pushing that, you know, uh, homosexual agenda, man. Okay, where you got men being with women, you got women being with women, and this is being um, uh, forced shoved down our people's throat. Okay, where they where they where they're starting to accept it. All right, and, and let me read this again. Ecclesiastes seven to seven. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad, and a gift destroyeth the heart. You know, and that's what Esau do. Esau gives you a gift, but really that's destroying your heart. You know. And uh, you know, as I was meditating on throughout the day, you know, just riding past, you know, neighborhoods. All right, seeing people's houses, you know, it, it, that's one thing that Esau had gave you, 
You know, he gave he gave you uh, uh, a job, okay, where you can save up money and get a car. You know, and people think that they that they live in the dream because they got a car, because they got a house, because they got a a, a family and, and and children. Okay, and those things has destroyed our people where they think that they that they set because they got a house. You know, and when you come and serve the Lord. All right, and you find out uh, the secrets of the Bible. Hey, the Lord has so much more things prepared for us. All right, Scripture says, "I have not seen, no ear heard." All right, He has a, a, a mansion waiting for us, a planet. You know, so Esau has gave you these certain gifts. You know, particular uh, on these women. All right, Esau has gave you uh, welfare, Section Eight. All right, He gave you child support. All right, he gave these um he gave East, he gave Jake these uh high paying jobs. All right, Jake making 80 80 uh 1000 a year, 100,000. All right, 150,000. You know, so es uh, Esau gave you these certain gifts, but it destroys your heart. All right, that hurt heart going back into the Hebrew is la, which is your mind. So our people has been destroyed in their minds where they think that they don't need the most high. All right. And now our people has, you know, has, you know, think that this is the kingdom of heaven, you know. But uh, let me get another precept. All right. Going back to the title, you're a demon if you love this world. So let's go to the book of James. Chapter four and verse four and it reads, ye adulterers and adulteress. Right. And our people has become spiritual adulterers. Okay. Because now our people are serving um, other gods, okay? But really, they're idols, okay? Because there's only one true living power, and his name is Yahweh, who this world calls God, and his son name is Yahweh Shai. Those are the true living powers. But you got our people, they, 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 they uh, separated themselves from the Most High through sin, all right? And now they're bowing down to, to, uh, to idols, okay? You got our people... Uh, um, calling on Jesus, calling on Buddha, calling on Allah, the uh, um, Hindu god of Shiva, all right, these so-called African gods, Ra, all right, Pharaoh. So our people has uh, committed spiritual adultery. And also our people are committing uh, physical adultery, okay? You got uh, men sleeping with other um, men's wives, all right, you got women you know, uh, um, cheating on their men, okay? And all those are transgressions. All those things are worthy of death, okay? Hey, one of the first uh, Ten Commandments is, hey, thou shalt worship no other God, okay? But our people are not calling on Yahweh Bashem al If you ain't calling on those true living names, you're serving an idol. I don't give a damn what you call it. You can call them Yahweh. You can call it Yeshia, Yahia, all right? All these different names. They, the Lord has one true uh, um, name. All right. And matter of fact, let's go to uh, uh, the book of Acts real quick. Acts 4 and verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. All right. And there's one true name to call on to receive salvation. Okay. Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai. Those are the names that you, that you must call on. And it says, for there is no other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. You see? Hey, because uh, try calling on Jesus. Try calling on Buddha or Allah in the times of trouble. All right? You're going to see that those that those names is not going to deliver you. And uh, let's get another precept. Judges 4, I mean, it's like in Judges 10 and starting at 13. Yet ye have forsaken me and serve other gods. Therefore, I will deliver you no more. Right? Our people has forsaken uh, um, Yahweh Bashim al Shai. And they went to go serve other gods. All right? Pharaoh, Allah, Buddha. All right? And even people think that they're God. Okay? Verse 14 Go and cry unto the gods which ye have chosen. Let them deliver you in the time of tribulation. All right? And that's what's coming down the pipeline. All right? The, uh, tribulation. Okay, Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, says it's going to be a time like never before. Daniel, the 12th chapter. You see? So when these times of tribulation come, 
Okay, these people are gonna call upon these uh, so-called gods, and they're not gonna be delivered. Let's go back to James four and four. Ye adulterers and adulteress, know ye not that the friendship of this world is enmity with Yahweh? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of this world is an enemy of God. Hey, and the scripture says you cannot serve two masters. Either you will hate the one or love the other. And if you love this world, you hate Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Because who's, who's ruling this world? According to Job 9 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the wicked is ruling this world. So if you love this world, you're, um, you're an enemy of God. And when you come into this, to the knowledge of this truth, now you realize that this world is completely uh, satanic. It's a it's completely against the laws, and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. And Esau, he's doing this uh, um, um, knowingly. Okay, you, you read uh, Psalms the eighty third chapter. All right, they're uh, these they're confederate against thee, because Esau, the so called white man, he knows. Who we are. He knows that we the Israelites. He know we God chosen people. He know the laws was given unto us. And he knows if we disobey the law, statute, commandments, that uh that, that death follows. Romans 6 and 23, for the ways of sin is death. And that's what's uh surrounding you when you go out into this world. Okay? You 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 you, you go to the gas station. Okay, they they selling you Newports and cigarettes and uh, Black and Miles and Dutch Masters and Backwoods. All right, all those things is is uh, keeping you away from your power. It's separating you from your power. Okay, when you go to the jewelry store, what they selling, Jake? Uh, uh, um, crucifix. All right, they selling you onks. See, all these things are are idols. Okay. And there's so many other things. They got churches on every corner in Jake neighborhood. They got liquor stores on every corner. Why? To keep you destroyed. To keep you in a lower state. Okay? You, you, you turn on the, 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 the television. Okay? There's um, homosexuality. There's uh, bestiality. Okay? And, and Esau, he set up these entertainers. Such as Cardi B, Beyonce, Jay Z, LeBron James. Okay, so our people can follow after these after these idols because people worship these these men, all right, and these women. Okay, you got our people um, dyeing their hair so they can be like Beyonce, so they can be like Cardi B, all right. Why? Because hey, Jake, Jake, look up to um, to to uh, to power. So Esau, he put these celebrities in power. Why? So you people can idolize them. All right. So you can follow after them. And let's get another precept. Let's go to the, the book of Second Peter. Chapter two, beginning at verse four. For if the most high spare not the angels that sinned. OK, and we are those angels that sin. Continue on, but cast them down into hell. And the hell is not talking about a place underground where you're burning forever and you got Satan with horns and a pitchfork. Hell is a condition. And the Israelites, you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, we in hell. Okay, we in the hoods, we in the ghettos, we under curses. Okay, and that's why Jake sell out. Why Jake sell out? So they can try to escape the curses. And continue on and deliver them into the chains of darkness. And that chains of darkness is his flesh. Okay? We're subject unto sin. We in these wild, I mean, we in these uh, vile, detestable bodies. Okay? According to Jeremiah 31 and 31, Hebrews 8 and 8, hey, the Lord is going to, he's going to fashion, he's going to change this vile body and fashion it unto like his glorious body. Okay, we're going to have those new bodies where we're going to be programmed to keep the law, such commandments. All right, we're not going to be uh, um, subject unto sin. Okay, we're not going to be, we're not going to have no pain. We're not going to have no aches. All right, because hey, Jake, lucky, 
you know, to make it to 20, to 25, okay? Hey, when you make it to the older age, you know, you, you, your body uh, breaks down. It starts it starts to, de to deteriorate, okay? You start getting ankle pain. You start getting knee pains. You start getting headaches, all right? You start losing your vision. And let's continue on to be reserved unto judgment and spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person. Okay, and in these times, we can apply this because, hey, we hoping to be um, just like Noah. All right, that's why the scripture says in Romans 15 and 4, the things that was written the fourth time written for our learning. Okay, so we hoping that Yahweh Bashamel shall have mercy upon us, just like he did upon our, um, our forefather Noah. Okay, and it says a preacher of righteousness. You see, and beginning with the 144,000, all right, uh, beginning with Apostle Tara on down, all right, we're preaching righteousness, okay? We, we, we're preaching the gospel, which is the good news. And it reads, uh, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly, okay? Hey, just like in the time of Noah, okay, the Lord um, um, destroyed the earth by way of far, uh, uh, water, all right? The, the earth got flooded by way of water, but... In these times, the Lord is going to flood the earth by way of fire. You see? And, and, and we hoping to be delivered, all right, from that. All right? We hoping to be um, uh, preserved just like Noah was. You see? Because in the time of, uh, of Noah, when the earth got flooded, you know, Earl, Noah was in that ark. Okay? And we hoping to be in, the, in those chariots, man. All right? Looking down at the destruction of America. All right, a.k.a. Babylon, according to the Holy Scriptures. And I'll continue on, verse 6. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with the overthrow. And this is spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah. You look at these people, mannerism and characteristics. All right. You line up uh, 10 dudes, a, uh, more than half of them is going to be uh, um, Sodomites, man. All right, homosexuals. See, and that's what's being pushed in this world. All right? Hey, just like in the time of Noah, okay, people was committing wicked abominations. All right? Men was being with, with men. Women being with women. Okay? And that's what's going on in these times. But guess what? This is Sodom and Gomorrah uh, uh, 5.0. This this place is worse. Okay? Because you now you got men uh, getting um, breast implants. You got men... Uh, cutting off their rods, getting vagina. You got men um, uh, uh, being pregnant, you know, with, 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 with children. You see, so this place has surpassed the deeds of Sodom, Sodom and Gomorrah. And it says, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly. You see, so Sodom and Gomorrah was for an example. Hey, because hey, the Lord is going to destroy uh, Babylon, a.k.a. America, Worse than he did Sodom and Gomorrah. And I want to get a quick precept. This is Malachi 4 and verse 1. For the day of the Lord cometh that shall burn as an oven. You see, you think about how hot an oven is. All right. Say you got the oven on and you're going to go check that food to see if it's done. When you open up that oven, hey, that, uh, that, that, um, that heat, hey, it just hits your face. And it's continue on. It says, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. You see, and that's who's going to be bathing in that in that nuclear fire. All the proud. You see, a hey, these these men are proud. You know, a hey, because if you're not serving Yahweh Hashem Al Shai, hey, you proud. Okay, because when you serve the Lord, you got to be humble. That takes a a spirit of humility. You see, and and that's what these people like. They lack humility. And that's a key attribute of the elect. It's humility. And it says wickedly. Okay, hey, and what's wicked? All right. Uh, anything that goes against the law, such commandments. So niggas come in, uh, bestiality. That's wicked. Niggas being homosexuals, women sleeping with other women, kissing other women. That's considered wicked. Smoking weed. All right. All these things is against Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. And it says, in the day of the Lord, it's like in the day that cometh shall burn them up. Say of Yahweh of hosts, that it shall leave me the root nor branch. You see, and that's going to be the state of, Amer of America, man. Okay, it's going to be the biggest desert on the face of the earth. All right, it ain't going to be nothing left 
after Yahweh Bashima shall destroy it. Okay, and when you read the book of Revelation, it says it shall be burnt in, in, in one hour. All right, 60 minutes, this place is going to be destroyed. All right. So let's go back to uh, the book of James. Finish off with that. All right, this is uh, the book of James, chapter 2. Salakia, uh, what was that? Second Peter, forgive me. Second Peter 2 and verse 7, and it reads, And delivered, actually, let's start up again at verse 6. 2 Peter 2 and 6, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with the overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly, and deliver just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. You see, and we hoping to be delivered just like our forefather uh, Lot. Okay, and he was vexed with the filthy conversation. Okay, the, these people mannerism. Okay, and these people literal conversations, man. You know, you, you uh, hear conversations of these jakes, all right, these women in the world, you know, they, they talking about folly, okay? They talking about uh, the NFL. They talking about, um, you know, Beyonce and Kanye West uh, drama, okay? All these things is, uh, is vanity, you know? Hey, you should really be talking about um, hastening the coming of the day of the Lord, all right? Um, your conversation being in heaven, man. Setting your affection on things above. You should, be, you should be talking about prophecy, man. Look what's going on in the news. Okay, they talk about this digital uh, currency. Okay, the uh, wars and rumors of wars, famines. You see, and that's what that's what our conversation is on. Is on the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, you know, sometimes we might talk about sports. Okay, we might talk about. You know, music. Hey, but our main focus, our main conversation is on the kingdom of heaven. You see? Uh, let's read verse 8. For that the righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Hey, and we we vex day to day. Okay, we gotta we gotta work with these fucking wicked ass niggas, these these uh filthy ass women. Okay, we gotta see homosexual. All right, we gotta uh, see niggas, uh, um, drug dealing, uh, uh, um, niggas with dreadlocks. All right, we gotta walk around with these niggas sagging their pants. Hey, all this shit vex us, man. You know, hey, working for Esau. You know, we we got the bases of men ruling over us. Hey, and the king of hell, we ain't gonna have to worry about you know fucking seeing the Edomite, man. If you don't want to. Okay, hey, if we if we see our enemies, we're going to see them in subjection. We're going to see them as as a fucking slave that they are. You see, and that's the spirit that we should be in, man, being vexed day to day. You shouldn't be walking around, you know, like this is like this is the kingdom, you know, walking around like like everything is normal. And going back into the title of this lesson, if you uh, if you you're a demon, if you love this world. You see, and you got to have a demonic spirit on you if you love this world. All right. If you if you can see if you can see yourself in five years being happy. All right. Thinking down the line, man, you got a serious problem, man. All right. And you need to pray to you. How about Shemal Shai uh, to remove that evil spirit from you? All right. And I'm going to finish off with verse nine, second Peter two and nine. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. You see, it, it, that's, why, that's why the scripture says, you know, uh, fret not at the evildoers, man. Envy not the sinner. OK, because we know what they what these um, um, individuals in is to be. All right, death and destruction, man. They're going to be bathing in that nuclear fire, man. Yeah, we got to go through that straight gate. All right, we suffering. We got to see our enemies on top. We got to see our enemies laughing and rejoicing and and and, um, and prospering in this world. Hey, but guess what? Day world is temporal, man. The things that we see is temporal, man. All right, and matter of fact, let's close out with that. One of my favorite scriptures, man. All right, 1 Corinthians. 7 and 31 
And they that use this world is not abusing it. Yeah, that's what we do. We use this world, but we don't abuse it. Yeah, we go to work. Okay, we got to pay bills. You know, we got to do certain things in this world, but we don't abuse this world. All right, we not we not looking to be rich. All right, we not looking all right to be on top in this world. Yeah, we work because we got to pay our bills. You, you got a family. All right, we 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 provide as a, as a um, we provide for our family because we a man, and that's what a real man do. But we don't we don't abuse this world. It says for the fashion of this world passes away right this manner of life is going to pass away you got to fucking believe that shit man you got to believe that this that this manner of life is going to pass away we're not always going to be at the at, at the bottom one day we're going to be at, at, at the top all right one day we're going to be beamed up into chariots we're going to see our enemies be destroyed we're going to see these uh, uh women be humble okay so you can't you can't uh, uh, um, um, let this world beat you down too much, all right? Because better days is coming, all right? That day of uh, uh, wasteless and desolation, hey, it's right around the corner, man. Hey, the Lord said he coming as a thief in the night, okay? And you got to be on your watch, all right? Hey, this, this world is going to pass away. Esau, his ass is going down to the ground. He's going to be the basis of men. He's going to be brought low. All right. Two thirds of our, our people, they're going to be brought low. They're going to be humble. You know, we just got to continue to fight, continue to endure. Ask you how about Shemel Shai to give you the strength to endure, man. Okay. So I'm going to close out with that. I pray that the elect of the nation of Israel was edified. And I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to my power. Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect, the 144,000 men that are laboring and toiling in his work and all truth and his sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. And also, I want to say Shalom to the rest of the elect, which consists of the men, women, and children that Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, will have mercy upon in these last days. And also, I want to say the Wadi Habashim Al Shah for giving me the Holy Spirit, the Rakak Wadash to make this lesson. Lord willing, until the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom and a Baba Ball. DTA.